solutions of a system of linear equations today we will see the examples based on the gauss elimination method first of all let's understand what is the gauss elimination method suppose we have this type of system of equations a11 x plus a12 y plus a13 z is equal to b1 a21 x plus a22 y plus a23 z is equal to b2 a31 x plus a32 y plus a33 z is equal to b3 now our next step will be to create a matrix like this we'll take the coefficients of x y and z of the first equation and that will write in the first row same way from the second equation we'll take the coefficients and write in the second row and for the third row we'll write the coefficients of the third equation then we have to multiply this with the matrix x y z and this will be equal to the values that are given on the right hand side which is b1 b2 and b3 so this is the first and foremost step of gauss elimination method now the second step will be to create an augmented matrix now here the first matrix that we created which is a11 a12 a13 3 cross 3 matrix that is our a matrix the second matrix which is of xyz that is known as x and it is equal to b that is ax is equal to b now for the augmented matrix the rule is a then we can put a dashed line or a dotted line or simply we can draw a line and we'll have to write the matrix b which is b1 b2 b3 and the whole matrix a will be written here so a then line and then the matrix b this is known as the augmented matrix now we have to perform row transformations and will convert this matrix to echelon form if you are not aware what is row echelon form and reduced row echelon form then i have created a separate video on that in which i have completely explained both of these terms you can watch that video you'll find the link in description so here we'll perform row transformations and convert this matrix to row echelon form suppose say that on conversion we get it like this c11 c12 c13 then again line and here we get the values say d1 d2 d3 then the second row which will be 0 then here also 0 and then c22 c23 c33 this we will get our echelon form of matrix now as you can see this first row this is the second row and this is the third row so we'll get three equations the first equation will be c11x plus c12y plus c13z is equal to d1 then from the second row we'll form another equation which will be 0 into x that is it will be 0 plus c22y plus c23z which will be equal to d2 
and then from the third row the third equation will be 0 plus 0 plus c 3 3 z is equal to d 3 once we have formed the equations we'll use the back substitution method to find the values of x y and z so this is the gauss elimination method now let's solve this example Solve the following equation using the Gauss elimination method. x plus 4y minus z is equal to minus 5. x plus y minus 6z is equal to minus 12. 3x minus y minus z is equal to 4. So our first step will be to create a matrix Ax is equal to b. In A, the matrix will be like this. Writing the coefficients of x, y, z of the equation 1 in the first row. So it will be 1, 4, minus 1. Then for the second equation, the coefficients are 1, 1, minus 6. And the third row will be the coefficients of the third equation. So it will be 3, minus 1, minus 1. Multiply it with the x matrix. x matrix is x, y, z. Which will be equal to b matrix. Which is the right hand side of all the equations so it will be minus 5 minus 12 and 4 now we'll create the augmented matrix which will be a so write the a matrix then you don't have to close the matrix because we'll put a line in between as we are creating an augmented matrix this way you will create a line and then write the B matrix which is minus 5 minus 12 4 now our next step is to perform row operations now for the row echelon form the rule is wherever you see this leading one below that leading one we need to make the entries as zero like here in the first row we have our leading one so below that we can see this 1 and 3 where we'll make it 0. Now in the second row we have this leading 1 at the second position. Below that you can see this minus 1 so you'll have to make that 0. Firstly we'll make this 1 and 3 as 0 and then we'll focus on that minus 1. So our first row operation will be R2 minus R1. Why? Because 1 minus 1 is 0. And the second row operation will be R3 minus 3 R1. Because the first row, if we'll multiply it with 3, then it will become 3 into 1, which is 3. And 3 minus 3 is equal to 0. First of all, let's just copy the first row. Because there will be no change in the first row. It will be 1, 4, minus 1. Then line. And then minus 5. Now the second row. After performing this row operation of R2 minus R1, it will become as 0 minus 3 and this will be minus 5. Minus 12 minus minus 5 which will be minus 7. Then after performing the next row operation which is R3 minus 3 R1, the third row will be become like this 0 minus 13 2 and 19 if you have any doubt regarding how you can perform the row operations then I have created a separate video on that you can watch that now we'll make this minus 3 again as 1 for that, we just need to divide the whole row by 3. So we'll divide it by minus 3. Because minus 3 upon minus 3 will be equal to 1. So on dividing this, we'll get 0, 1, 5 by 3, 7 by 3. First and third row will be same. Now our next row, row operation will be we want to make this minus 13 as 0 because in the second row we are having our leading 1. 
so below that leading one it's necessary to have a zero so a row operation will be like this r3 plus 13 r2 because minus 13 plus 13 will be equal to zero again first and second row will remain same then after in the third row we'll get the values as 0 0 71 by 3 and 148 by 3 so now we have reduced our matrix and converted it into the row echelon form because we have our leading one in the first position in the first row and in the second position in the second row we have our leading one below that we have zero so this is our row echelon form of the matrix now we can just write the equations from this matrix which is x plus 4y minus z is equal to minus 5 from the first row we will get our first equation from the second row the second equation will be y plus 5 by 3z is equal to 7 by 3 and from the third row we will get our third equation which is 71 by 3 into z is equal to 148 by 3 now we will use back substitution firstly we will find the value of z from this equation which will be equal to z is equal to 148 upon 71 because 3 3 will get cancelled now placing this value in the second equation which is y plus 5 by 3 z is equal to 7 by 3 So 5 by 3 into 148 upon 71 is equal to 7 by 3. On solving this, we will get the answer as y is equal to minus 81 upon 71. And then we have x plus 4y minus z is equal to minus 5 x plus 4 into y which is minus 81 by 71 then z is 148 by 71 so minus 148 by 71 and on solving this we'll get x is equal to 117 upon 71 so we have got our values x is equal to 117 upon 71 y is equal to minus 81 by 71 and z is equal to 148 upon 71 let's just solve one more example the question is solve the following equations using the Gauss elimination method 8y plus 2z is equal to minus 7 3x plus 5y plus 2z is equal to 8. 6x plus 2y plus 8z is equal to 26. Our first step will be to form the matrix system, which is ax is equal to b. Here the coefficients are, for x it is 0, for y the coefficient is 8, for z it is 2. Then from the second equation, We'll write our x and b matrix, which is x, y, z. b will be minus 7, 8, 26. The second row is 3, 5, 2. And the third row is 6, 2, 8. Now we'll create the augmented matrix, which will be a and b. So just copy the matrix A, draw a line in between and then copy the matrix B. Then our next step, here as we don't have the leading one in the first row, we need the leading one in the first row. So for that we'll perform the row transformation like this 
will just interchange the row 1 and row 2. So on interchanging our row 2 will become our row 1 and the row 1 will write in the row 2. We have just interchanged the rows. Then as we need our leading 1, so our next row transformation will be to make this 1. For that we'll just divide the whole row by 3. That is 1 by 3 into R1. So it will become 1, 5 by 3, 2 by 3 and 8 by 3. Second row and third row will be the same. Then as you can see in the third row we have 6 but where there is leading 1 below that the entry should be 0. So we will make it 0. In order to make it 0 we will perform this row transformation R3 minus 6 R1 because 6 minus 6 will be equal to 0. So we will write the third row first 0 minus 8 4 and 10. After performing the row transformation, we got the third row like this. The first and the second row will remain the same. You can perform the row transformations using calculator. Now our next step will be to make this 8 as 1 and this minus 8 as 0. For that the next row operation that we'll perform is dividing the second row by 8. So R2 into 1 by 8. So we get that the second row like this 0, 1, 1 by 4, minus 7 by 8. The first and the third row will remain the same. Our next row operation will be R3 plus 8 R2 because we want to make this minus 8 as 0. So R3 plus 8 R2 because minus 8 plus 8 will be equal to 0. On performing the row transformation, we get the values like this, 0, 0, 6 and 3. The first and the second row will be the same. Now we have got the row echelon form of matrix. So we'll write the equations from this matrix which will be x plus 5 by 3 y plus 2 by 3 z is equal to 8 by 3 then 0 plus y plus 1 by 4 z is equal to mi minus 7 by 8 and then we have 0 plus 0 plus 6 z is equal to 3 so we'll start from the third equation we'll find the value of z z will be equal to 3 divided by 6 which is 1 by 2 then we'll substitute this value in the second equation y plus 1 by 4 into z is equal to minus 7 by 8 so it will be y plus 1 by 4 into 1 by 2 is equal to minus 7 by 8 on solving this we get y is equal to minus 1 Then we'll place the values of y and z in the first equation. So it will be y plus 5 by 3 into minus 1 plus 2 by 3 into 1 by 2 is equal to 8 by 3. On solving we get x is equal to 4. Hence we have got the solution as x is equal to 4, y is equal to minus 1 and z is equal to 1 by 2. So this is how you can solve 
the linear equations by the Gauss elimination method. You will find my notes on my website. The link to it is in the description. Thank you.